Hello, my name's Katie and here is a video about one of my mega fave numbers, which is to say a number that I like very much that is quite big. Uh, and by quite big we mean bigger than a million. Uh, so this is part of a project, there's a few different YouTubers putting together their own mega fave numbers video. Um, and when I was uh, given this brief, I thought I would look through uh, this really nice little book that I've recently picked up. It's called Mathematical Snapshots uh, by a mathematician called Steinhaus. And what they've essentially done is they've collected together just a bunch of random interesting maths things. There's just loads of stuff about shape and uh, numbers and, and different constructions and all sorts of stuff in here. And it's all kind of just little chunks, uh, little sections of information. Uh, and down here, uh, there is a page and it's just this little bit here. Uh, they've talked a little bit about very large numbers. And what they say is, uh, it is easy to write down very great numbers. Such giants can be defined very simply if we agree to write a in a triangle instead of a to the power a. So what we're saying here is that we've got um, like a, say a number, whatever value a is. Uh, if you write a inside a triangle like this, that means that you've got a to the power a. So for instance, if it was two in a triangle, uh, that would be uh, two squared, which is four. Um, if it was three in a triangle, that would be three cubed. So three to the three, uh, which is 27. And four in a triangle uh, is four to the power four, which is 256. So these numbers grow quite big, uh, quite quickly. Um, but this is the definition of A in a triangle. And then it goes on to say, uh, if uh, instead of uh, so we write a in a square instead of a in a triangles, uh, which means that if I write a inside a square, like this, that is the same as a in a triangles. And there's not even notation for that. Uh, it's, it's just weird. So if I've got, say for instance, two in a square, uh, that is two in two triangles, uh, which I mean, you, you just draw a triangle and then another triangle outside of that. Um, and you can sort of think of that as either two in a triangle in a triangle or two in two triangles. Um, and depending on which one of those you do, you can kind of resolve this two different ways. So you could say, OK, the thing in the middle there is two in a triangle. And I know what that is. It's just four. Uh, so that is four uh, in a triangle, which is to say 256. Uh, or you can say this is two in a triangle, the object, in a triangle. And if you put something in a triangle, it means that you write that thing uh, to the power of itself. So this is two in a triangle to the power of two in a triangle, uh, which is uh, four to the power of four, which is 256. And whichever way you resolve those, you get the same thing. Um, so that's two in a square. Um, and then uh, Steinhaus goes on to say uh, that if you write A in a circle, uh, that is A in A squares. And uh, this is where things start to get a bit terrifying because even if you take two, the smallest number that you can sensibly do this with, you could do it with one, but everything's just one and it's a bit boring. Uh, so two in a circle, we're saying is uh, two in two squares, which seems simple enough and easy enough to draw. Uh, but what that actually is, is uh, two in a square in a square. And we know that two in a square is 256. So that's 256 in a square. And if we go back to our definition of what being in a square means, that is 256 in 256 triangles, right? So I don't, I don't even know how I would write this. So I've, I've got like, I'm just gonna put times 256 on the bottom of that triangle there to indicate this. Um, if we look in the book, uh, Steinhaus has had a good go. Uh, and you can see their attempt at the notation for 256 in 256 triangles is just just throw a load of dots on it. Uh, something something triangles uh, and, and equals dot dot dot, uh, which is very mathematical. Um, so what, what Steinhaus has said uh, is that this number two in a circle uh, is called mega. That's the name of that number. Uh, and it's massive. It's a big, big number. Um, but it's sort of like I'm already getting to the point where I'm struggling to sort of see how big these are. Um, and the number that I'm going to claim is my favourite number here because I've just found this. It's like a little footnote at the end of the thing uh, here. It says uh, the reader may try to explain the megiston given by 10 in a circle. Just throwing that out there, just imagining 10 in a circle. So that's 10 in a circle, uh, which is 10 in 10 squares. 
Uh, and I'm not even going to go near that one, but we're calling that one Megiston. Uh, and it's clearly a massive, massive number. Um, and I just thought this was a really nice little, just a tiny little section in this book that kind of doesn't go anywhere. The next line is just about the chessboard and about how many puzzles you can do on a chessboard. Um, but it was just a really nice little kind of fun thing that Steinhaus must have come up with. Um, but what has actually happened, as often happens in maths, is that another mathematician uh, has had a go at this as well. So uh, you can kind of take this one step further. So there's a thing called Steinhaus Moser notation. So Moser is another mathematician who's come along uh, and played with this exact same idea. Um, so uh, Steinhaus Moser notation is, uh, so you've got, you know, A in a triangle uh, is A to the A, which is what we already had. Uh, you've got A in a square, is uh, A in eight triangles. Uh, it's kind of, it starts off the same. And then instead of going to a circle next, we do the sort of slightly more logical progression-y thing and say, okay, A in a pentagon, just realized I've given myself the challenge of drawing a regular pentagon on camera. It's gone all right. Uh, so A in a pentagon is A in A squares. Uh, so in general, A in an N-sided shape is A in A N minus one sided shapes that works so you can just keep going so you can do a in a hexagon <laughs> oh god this is getting worse there we go a in a hexagon is a in a pentagons uh, anyone who doesn't know that this is maths is going to come across this and go this is grammatically incorrect it's not a pentagons it's a pentagon no that's a the number uh, so uh, you can just keep going i'm gonna i'm gonna chuck on a dot 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 there because why not um so this is now a, a kind of a sequence of, of types of number that you can do. Um, and Moser uh, in, came up with what's called Moser's number. Uh, and this is a truly terrifyingly large number. I'm going to say that I still prefer the other one because this one is just too big. So Moser's number is two in, I can't even draw it, in a megagon. And, I'm, you know, this is like, you know, what where can we go with this thing? So megagon... I think technically it has been used to describe a million sided shape, but that is not the context in which it's being used here. A megagon in this shape is, in this context, is a shape with a mega sides. And if you remember, a mega was a two in a circle. So it's a two in a circle gone. <laughs> and it's got that many sides. So you then have to whittle that all the way down uh, until you've got actual numbers that you're raising to the power of other actual numbers. And even if you start with two, this number is absolutely incredibly massive uh, to the point where it's not really useful for me to try and work out what it is like it's just stupid uh, but I thought this was a, a fun kind of little thing and it's the kind of thing that mathematicians do right they kind of come up with their own uh, notation and their own way of describing things and um, sometimes it leads to something interesting I don't know if there's any uh, interesting or important uses for this kind of stuff yet but who, who knows you know it might be a useful thing uh, and it kind of gets you thinking about numbers which I think is kind of cool um, so so that is my mega fav number, uh, which I'm going to say is a megaston or 10 in a circle. Um, and uh, the other thing to say is that we want you to get involved as well. So if you have a favourite number bigger than 1 million, um, it doesn't have to be as big as my numbers or it can be bigger or whatever you want to do. Um, if you want to make a little video of yourself talking about your mega fav number, uh, then we can submit, submit it to the playlist, make it part of this project. We're putting all of these videos together uh, and collecting a bunch of videos about interesting or otherwise uh, fun, massive, massive numbers. Uh, so please get involved if you would like to do that. And thank you very much.